Hi everyone, my name is Moran. Welcome to my channel where I read for y'all some Reddit stories and also comment on them. They range from fun to serious and today we have a serious one, more or less. I mean, it is absolutely f ridiculous, enraging, and I am not actually sure that this is real, but without further ado, let's dive in. Am I the un for giving a mother with a crying baby my seat near my wife to teach her a lesson. So my wife and I recently went on a trip together, paid for by her dad. He flew us to Hawaii with first class seats. We had a great time. My wife is used to travel. While I'm less experienced with plane travel, this was the first time I flew first class. On our way back home, we were set near the back by the border between us and the undesirables. In interesting way to put it though. A mother and her baby were one of the first to board and the poor baby was not having a good time. I felt even worse for the mother as I know she's probably equally distressed about the baby crying. While I felt sympathy, my wife was mad. She kept making comments about how our flight was going to be miserable at best. Her complaining went on for the longest time. She kept saying that the mother was irresponsible and if she doesn't know how to calm her baby, she shouldn't be taking it on a plane. I tried to tell her to calm down as it's not that serious, but she wasn't having it. Eventually, I got tired of that, so I offered to go speak to the mom for my wife. She said she would be happy if I did. I went back in between boarding groups and told the mother that if she wanted, I would give her my first class seat so she can kick her feet up and that may be more comfortable for her and the baby. She didn't want to initially, but I insisted and her husband encouraged her to take it. She took her baby up to first class and I got series of angry texts from my wife. So I felt like this was not a huge deal as my wife brought noise canceling headphones and the other people in the first class most likely do as well. And if they don't, they have normal headphones and can simply block out the baby. It's 2023, not 1990. We're not living in the stone age. The baby cried for maybe a cumulative 30 minutes on an eight hour flight. So barely at all. When my wife and I met up, she was livid. She told me that I ruined her flight and ruined the end of the trip for her. I told her that she's overreacting to something that's only mildly annoying. She has refused to drop this. Am I the... <laughs> I am confused as to why he even needs to ask this because yes, cosmic scale, the disrespect you have to have for your wife to do that to her is astounding. It's simply astounding. I would be so mad that even thinking about it gives me rage chills. If this is real, poor wife. I mean, she is also slightly in the wrong for complaining for so long and saying that the mother is irresponsible because I also can understand the side of parents because sometimes they have emergencies, they have things that, you know, are inevitable and you don't have anyone to leave the baby with, so they have to take the babies on the plane, on the train, on the bus, whatever, and it's probably very, very stressful for them too because sometimes you cannot control when the baby is crying and you feel both stressed for the baby and embarrassed. I do not really know what the wife expected when she said she would be happy if her husband went to talk to the mother. Was he supposed to walk up to the mother and be like, you're terrible for having your baby on the plane and then she magically shuts the baby up? I'm pretty sure that's not how it works and by going on and nagging at her, you're just making things worse and also why would you? It makes you look like a d You're not teaching your wife a lesson okay you're just being a terrible human being because what lesson is she supposed to take from this well i'm obviously judging from my own point of view but i don't like babies i absolutely hate when i have to fly with babies on board unfortunately there is no way of getting around that and again i get that some people have emergencies i get that some people have to take their babies understand that sometimes you cannot calm the baby all fair points i'm just saying that i 
hate to be on the same plane or train or bus or whatever with a crying baby like most of the people do i suppose but there is a difference between being unhappy about it and actively going to reprimand the mother because you don't know her situation and she definitely doesn't need a stranger coming to her and telling her she's irresponsible or whatever anyway i was going with this uh, to the point that by making a crying baby sit next to me on the flight you're not making me dislike babies less also i hate how he says that she's overreacting to something that's only mildly annoying now i don't know anything about the wife but for example i have a very peculiar set of issues with my surroundings very sensitive to sounds especially loud and repetitive ones to movement around me and especially when it's close to me also i can get hyper focused on something when i am annoyed so if that happened to me on top of having a gigantic annoyance in the sound i would have a problem with having a stranger sit next to me for eight hours i would have a problem with being enraged at my husband for doing that and it just exacerbates the whole situation because i don't know if it's the same for many people but for me once i get worked up and especially if there is nothing i can do about the situation and if i'm forced to sit in one place and like stew in my anger it takes so much energy from me and like i cannot stop it so i'll just straight up divorce him honestly like what the f dude of course the wife might be very different from me she might not be bothered by any sensory issues or she might be more chill than me but i don't see how it's teaching anything so the author is a gigantic and this is by far one of the most horrible cases of partner behavior that I've seen in the petty way. So on this note, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, I will see you with another one soon. Bye!